Welcome back to part two of our tutorial where we are creating a race car using Tinkercad. As you can see on your screen, we do have the body section of the car here that we did in the first tutorial. Okay, that all looks well and good. In this video, we're just going to finish things off by doing all things wheels. So I'm going to be creating axles, washers, wheels, and putting a few holes in the car for those um, axles to go through. So to make the holes for the car, that's the first step today. We're going to need to grab our cylinder from our basic shapes here and just drop it onto the page. We're going to need to rotate it 90 degrees and do a bit of resizing here. So the height will come down to 5. And if we click on the bottom right corner, this front measurement will need to be 5. And the actual length of our axle is going to be about 50 mil. We're also going to raise it up by 4 four millimeters. Okay, so it's about four millimeters up in the air. Just want to double check that and pull that back down to the work plane. We'll go up again. I think I got it wrong just a moment ago. That's why I'm double checking that. There we go. So we're four millimeters up in the air. Once you've got that, we need to duplicate it and make a second one. So just click on the duplicate button and pull over a second one. And we need to make sure these axles go straight through the body of the car. So one like that, one like that towards the back. Now come back around to the side here and just align them nicely. So I think the front wheel is in a pretty good position. The back wheel should be just behind the air intake there somewhere. So yeah, about there looks fine. Okay, they don't have to be even. They just have to go through the car because we're going to turn these into holes. So simply select them one by one and create a hole. Like so. If you select everything on your page now and group them all together, pressing Ctrl G or the button at the top, you'll see in a second those holes will form. There they are. And you can now stick your axles straight through those when you make them and print them out. Okay, so let's make the um, axles next. So it's done in a very similar way. We just need to bring a cylinder out onto our page and Rotate at 90 degrees. I might change the color to say green. And we need to do some resizing. So it needs to fit in that 5 millimeter hole. So I'm going to make it a 4 millimeter diameter this time. So the height will be 4. This front measurement will be 4. And the length is going to be 60 millimeters. Okay. Now that would fit straight through that hole, but we're not going to put it in there because we need to print these separately. So I'm just going to put that up the front there, in front of my car. If you want to be all neat and tidy, just put it in right in the middle and duplicate it. Push the second one back. Okay, so now we've got two axles ready to go for printing. Easy. Next thing we might do is we're going to start to make wheels. So cylinders again. We're going to leave them standing upright for now. The first cylinder is going to have a height of 30 mil. And if we adjust the diameter to 5 mil, that's the first one we need. I might change his color. Let's go to purple. Let's bring out another cylinder. We'll go with the height first of all as 6 mil. And clicking in the bottom right corner, we want to make the diameter 12 mil. And we'll change this color to say yellow. And one more cylinder now for the wheels. Um, we'll change the height to 15 mil. And clicking in the bottom right corner, the diameter is going to be 20. So oh, it's already good. We might change this color to uh, blue. All right, so we've got all the components we need to create the wheel. We need to raise a few of them up now. Okay, so the blue one, we're going to raise it up by three millimeters. Now the yellow guy, we actually need to duplicate him. So I'm going to make a second copy of the yellow one. Let's put one over this side. And we'll raise this duplicate copy up by 14 millimeters. Okay, so you can see that in that little box there. He's up in the air by 14 millimeters. Everything else stays the same. Now what we're going to do is just going to highlight those four cylinders we've just created. And zooming back a bit here, we'll use the Align tool to center them horizontally and vertically. So it's looking something like that at the moment. All right. 
Next thing we're going to do is we're going to be turning the yellow and the purple sections into holes. Okay, so you can click on them one by one, or select them all in one hit, it's up to you. Let's do them one by one. Turn them all into holes, and then select them all, group them together, and you'll see those holes disappear, and you've got yourself a wheel. Okay, we'll need to bring that back down onto our work plane. So it's flat on our work plane. Oh, that looks pretty good. Okay, so how many of those? We're going to need four in total, obviously. So let's duplicate that one, two, three times. So we end up with four wheels. Okay, now they can, you can sit them anywhere. I'll just sit them off to the side here. Now if you want to be nice and neat like me, you can use your align tool to just get these all nice and neatly lined up with one another. Just something like that will look good. Now I need to make some washers that are going to hold these wheels on to the car. Okay, so again we're going to need to grab our cylinder. Let's plonk one onto the page. I'll make this guy yellow as well. Uh, what are we going to do? Three millimeters for the height. And clicking in the bottom right corner, we'll be able to adjust the diameter to 10 millimeters. Okay, looks good. Grab another cylinder. Okay, this guy's height is going to be 10 millimeters. And its diameter is going to be 4.35 to be exact. So I'm going to be pretty accurate here. And we'll change his color to, say, pink. Alrighty, so these are the washers that will keep the axles in place. We need to highlight both of them, align them horizontally and vertically so they come together like so. Um, we need to, yeah, it's the inner one, we need to turn into a hole. And if we group them together, we now have our washer. I just want to make sure that hole went all the way through, which it did. So that looks good. So we've got four wheels, but we need a washer on either side. So we're going to need eight of these in total. So let's duplicate it one, two, three, four, five, six, seven times and start moving them out like so. It's five, oops. Yeah, stuff that up. Six, seven, and eight. There we go. Nice and neat at the back there. There are all the washers we need for for our car. Okay, so we've got all the parts we need for our car. One thing I might add, uh, which I probably should have done in the previous video, because it goes on the body of the car, and that's the head or the helmet of the driver. Okay, and he just sits in here in front of that um, air, air intake. So you can use a sphere or you can use a um, dome or half sphere, sorry. Let's try this half sphere and we'll see if we can get it looking any good. Now if we Go and click on him here. The height, I guess it doesn't really matter too much. Um, it's the diameter that we want to change to 10 millimeters. Okay, actually the height probably will matter because that looks a little bit out of proportion now. I might bring that down to 5. Yeah, that looks pretty good. Um, so we're going to need to raise it up so we can sit in the car there. So let's bring him across. I just guessed how high to raise him then, so he's up about 15 mil there. I might put him down 1 to 14 mil so he's buried in the car. Um, and I'll just select both those two and group them together. So now that little helmet becomes part of the actual body on the race car. Okay, so we've got our driver in there, the body section, two axles, four wheels, eight washers. Okay, that is our race car all done and ready for printing. Now just a few tips when you do come to printing. Now when you export this, make sure you export it as an STL file. That'll just save onto your computer somewhere. And then you'll need to open it up in your slicer program. Okay, when you do that, try and set the infill to 15%. Okay, you should be able to print all these parts together as well. 
and if you're adding supports to it which I would you will need to add supports to the rear wing the air intakes the axles inside of them the axle holes and the wheels okay um, and if your slicer software can create tree like supports use that rather than the linear supports okay once that's printed you should be able to assemble it pretty easy the axles will go through the holes put the washers on and then the wheels over the top of the washers alrighty so that's how you create a little race car using Tinkercad